Fast book cover with Crello, which is a new design software. It's online. It's very similar to Canva, um, almost identical to Canva. So I wonder if it's a clone or a copy or something. Um, but I'll show you really quick what you can do with it and then some of the limitations. This is the cover that I made. Um, the pretty nice thing is that you can search pictures. So I can search for vampire or I could search for werewolf or whatever. Um, and then it would search stock photography sites and all of these just cost 99 cents to buy. So if I wanted any of these, um, I could just click on one and it would show up over here. I could um, change the colors really fast, which is kind of cool. Um, and then just put it as the background of my book cover. So you can't do a lot of fancy editing stuff, but if you found um, a cover, or if you found a, um, a good stock photo that kind of works, you clean it up a little bit and make it the book cover. There's layers, so I can move it to the back. Um, and then this is the other picture that I had earlier. It has some, um, whoops, it has some text effects and it has a limited amount of fonts. So one of the biggest limitations is probably going to be that there's only these fonts, which isn't a lot. Um, it's quite a lot if you're just doing a basic nonfiction cover. There's probably just about everything you need. Um, possibly for a simple biography or memoir, you would really just need a simple serif or sans serif font. You wouldn't want anything too fancy. So you might be okay, but if you want to do uh, a commercial genre book cover, you're probably going to need more interesting fonts than these. Um, but they do have a few options. You can change the size, which is pretty cool. You can change the colors. You can't really do anything fancy with text effects. Um, the really important things with, the, with typography is that you're going to want something that allows you to do spacing like this. So it's nice that this tool has that. Canva has that also. Um, and then also to do line height. So you really want to be able to control line height and spacing in your book cover. That's really important, especially for small text like this. A really common mistake um, authors will make if they're doing their own covers is they'll just put in the default spacing and everything will look too crammed together. So the easy way to be a little bit more professional is just to give it a lot more um, extra space between the letters. So a tool like this can be pretty cool. But like I said, it's kind of limited. And the other thing that I can do is I can add in um, objects. So I think I went to objects and I think it was under borders. Yeah, so I could pick out these kind of cool frames and then I could um, make it a little bit transparent if I don't want it to be you know, too bold. I can set it a little bit transparent so it's just kind of um, subtle. So those are all really good features. I could make this cover, this is a very decent fiction cover for Vampire Book um, that I made in about 10 minutes and it cost me 99 cents, so that's that's great. Uh, once I want to save it, I can just, I think I download it and then I would be prompted to buy the picture for 99 cents to remove the watermarks. Um, so that's all pretty cool. The things that the software won't do. Like I said, there's some limitations with the font. You really want something that has a lot more font choices if you're using an online graphic design software. Um, and then if you want really high quality book covers, you're gonna do, you're gonna need to do more things with layers. So I would need to do um, multiple layers and then I would have to blend them in differently. And that's something I can do. Let me show you real quick in Photoshop. Um, two things that I have going on right now. So what you want to be able to do with Photoshop or with an online program is duplicate layers and then you'd have this new layer and you could do multiply or color burn or overlay. These are all kind of blending modes. Um, so very quickly you can set different blending modes and have very different effects that'll make your cover a lot more professional. So if you want to blend layers together or add some grunge or add some texture, um, those are things you would do with blended layers that you can't really do in an online software like this. Um, you can do it in my tool, which is jybookcovers.com slash cover creator. Um, this is something I set up. It's Flash. 
it's a little bit buggy. Um, I'm not a software engineer, so I kind of did the best I can and it, it's kind of functional. You can set your book cover size. Um, and then you would have to zoom out to see the whole cover, but then you could add in different layers and you can blend them together this way. So there's um, a few blending like multiplier overlay. Those are the ones that are really going to be the ones you um, use the most. But so if you wanted to blend layers together, my tool is really good for that. And my tool has some, has quite a few fonts. I should add some more, um, but there's quite a few fonts already in here. This is something I really want to go back and revise and fix up and make better, but um, it's already a pretty good tool compared to what's already out there. Anyway, so those are some options. You may want to look into either um, Crello, which is the one I was just, I don't know where it went, but um, Crello is kind of a cool thing to look at, or Canva. It's very similar to Canva, which also works uh, great for simple, cheap covers, but not great for blending layers or really high quality, um, especially for commercial fiction sci-fi or fantasy, you're going to need to do a little more high quality photoshopping and custom work to get things that look really good. Although if you just, I mean, if you find a really good stock photo and you add simple text, um, sometimes that can be better than playing around too much and trying to make something too complicated that's messy. So those might help. Uh, that's an opportunity to get a really cheap cover that might be decent for most nonfiction or memoirs or really simple covers. Um, but if you need something a little bit higher end, your those online tools are probably not going to be good enough um, for what you need.